Well, my name is Samkele. I'm an actor, and I've been doing this for since 2012 officially, but I can say that I've been in the arts as an entertainer in my family, in the house, since I was like five. As, as soon as I could move my limbs, I was doing something. Okay, so I went to school um, in Lagos. I went to Chrisland, and then I went, moved over to Grange Primary, went on to secondary school. Um, I did a bit uh, at Lifeworth, I graduated, and then I went to Canada, McMaster University. Uh, I studied biochemistry and biomedical science, graduated from that, came back to Nigeria, did my NYC, and here we are, four years later. Um, a lot of people ask that, but I always modeled every time I came back home for holiday. So uh, even though I was away at university, my mom always made sure we came back home to remember where we were from. And so during those holiday times, I started modeling commercially. And um, from there, I knew that I wanted to continue but do movies instead. So I did TV commercials, which was an insight into acting and getting used to the camera. But then as soon as I moved back, once I graduated, I went for my first audition and they say the rest is history. The industry that I work in, it's, it's what has inspired me to even want to go into it. It is, it is what has inspired me to want to face all odds, whatever resistance you may get. Because think about it, now we're getting international recognition to some extent. It's becoming a bit more acceptable, a bit more prestigious. But the people that started this off, um, imagine the challenges they faced in just leaving and people just letting them be. Because you know, a lot of times they take us as a bunch of jokers who just fell into the career. But if you see people that have various backgrounds, be they in science or economics, and they're coming into the arts, especially for film and TV, I think there's a certain level of respect that goes into it. So I'm very proud of where Nollywood is right now. We're not where we want to be. But I'm so happy and I'm, again, I'll say extremely proud that I'm part of an industry that is exporting goods that you don't have to go to the port for, you don't have to deal with any shipping man, and it's making us look good. There are not a lot of things that are making us look good for now in the country and it's the honest truth, but at least I'm happy that we're exporting music, film, and it's putting us in a better light. Lagos seems to be the main hub for most productions. You also have Calabar with Ebony Life, so there are a lot of, they're going to be, I mean the film village is also being built. I think we're be, beginning to see that there is, um, there's a future in this. I, I feel very honored, that's the honest truth, to have been even considered for this. I've been privileged to work with a lot of very talented people, extremely talented people who have started and done this before me in my age bracket, above, and even younger than I am. So for me to have done only a few movies and the eyes of a curator would say, this girl seems like she has something. You know, and this is something that I'm still even trying to prove to my family that this is what I certainly want to do. It feels good, you know. So it's a program where the, the film festival handpicks. Um, before they would handpick only four Canadian actors and they would put them through meeting casting directors, meeting directors, going for special events, red carpet events. You know, so it's pretty much giving you the opportunity you wouldn't have otherwise had. It's like, oh, I want to meet Steven Spielberg, but how are you going to meet him? they would actually make that possible, you know. So that's what they are now doing with the International Rising Stars. This is the first time they're doing it, and they picked myself and OCU KJ. So my latest project is um, the movie 93 Days coming out. The arbitration is currently in cinemas, just nationwide though. Um, it's also going to TIFF, 93 Days is going to TIFF, it's about the Ebola and how we're able to eradicate it within 93 days from when Patrick Sawyer came into town and then eventually the last case was um, uh, said, until we declared Ebola free. Then the other project that is coming out this year, I'm very excited about, is The Wedding Party. It's 
a fun comedy that I think everybody will go home feeling good about. It's your typical average wedding in Nigeria and everything that could possibly go wrong goes wrong that day. So I mean, I, I'm really, really excited about that too. There are a lot of other things in the works. I can't talk about those ones now, but um, I hope that you go and see every movie I've mentioned. The Arbitration, 93 days. I'm very proud of that work and also the wedding party. It is coming back. Season three is coming back. That I can tell you. Um, there's still a, a few things they have to put in place. I, I work with a very select group of meticulous people <laughs> for Giddy Up. So the fact that it's taking this much time, expect that it's going to be amazing. Yes. Thank you all so much. Thank you for making me confident in what I do, for going out and supporting the industry, not just individuals. You're changing people's lives, you're contributing to your economy, and you're actually making a global stance. You're making it possible for us to be able to have a voice. Film is not just only about entertainment, it's having a voice to be able to, a platform for you to be able to say the things that need to be said, to address issues that need to be addressed. And because you support the industry, we can actually air your own views in an entertaining way that still gets the message across. So thank you very much. Thank you for supporting me and the whole industry. Hi, my name is Sam and it's been so much fun hanging out with TVC Connect Meets.